Afternoon, Speedy Clark here. Hope you're all well and enjoying the post. Before we start today, I just need to pre-warn you that if you're under the age of 15, you should not be watching this. If you are sensitive at all, you should not be watching this. Um, we're going to talk about politics, which you may find a little odd. Um, it's not something I really like or enjoy. I find it very boring. I probably shouldn't and I probably should take better interest but I don't really want to to be honest. So we're going to talk about Scotland and independence. Should Scotland be independent? Please post your comments and criticisms to whether you think Scotland should be independent or not. Personally I don't think Scotland should be independent. That's my view. Everyone has their own views and opinions. Nothing wrong with that. Doesn't make them a bad person. For me, though, I'm Scottish, obviously. Um, I love Scotland. I love Edinburgh. Um, Scotland's done many great things. And I think it's a fantastic, amazing place. But, there, and there are a number of buts, I think it would be wrong for us to be independent. Um, not because I'm scared of change. Um, I love change. But I don't believe we are ready for it. Um, and I would encourage people not to say yes. Simply because um, I have a young daughter and at the moment it's difficult to, for people to get mortgages. Um, it's difficult for progression. And I believe it will be even harder if we were to become independent. It would be even harder to get mortgages. Think of your kids trying to get that first house. Think of people just now trying to get the first house. It's, it's exceptionally difficult now. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a good move. Yes, they're saying, oh, the yes, the yes camp, the yes club are saying, we will stop making nuclear weapons. Well, that's fantastic. That's brilliant. Let's not make nuclear weapons. That's, that's great. I'm all for that. We will have more jobs. I'll come on to that in a minute because that's a sensitive subject for me. Um, we we will we have so much oil and create blah 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 blah. I'm not even going to get into it, but you you know what I mean. The reality is, oil is going to run out. You know, we're looking at electric cars. We're looking at alternatives, biofuel. Oil is oil is yesterday's news. You know, you oil is just fucked up you know we are gonna be just crossing the road there we are gonna be out of oil so what what are you gonna do next what what's gonna be pulled out of the hat next Scotland's done many great things in, in terms of for me at least cycling um, you know that we've got Chris Hoy Graham O'Brien yeah, hundreds and, and many other things fantastic things but um, you know, I, I just don't think it's a good move for us at the moment, certainly. So the top and bottom of it is, you know, don't vote yes, vote no. Um, it's for your own benefit, it's for your the future the, of your children. It's, it's, not, it's not a good move, it's not a good move. Back on to the employment front, however, my previous job role was a, a contract manager for an agency. I'm not going to name the agency, you know, I'm not going to do name and shame. It was a, it was a great company, it was good, and the, the job was just, you know, it wasn't really my cup of tea, it was a stopgap. But however, during that period, I had to supply a company with 400 agency staff. And this involves a slight part of racism. I'm not racist in any way. I, you know, I have many, many friends. Um, I've got Nigerian friends. I've got French friends. I've got Spanish friends. I have a Polish wife. You know, I, I'm not racist at all. Um, but there would be people within the company saying, oh, we, we have immigrants working for us, blah, blah, blah. People are coming to steal our jobs. Well, I'm sorry, but the reality is that's bullshit, okay? The reality of that is, when I was contract manager for agency, I had to supply 400 agency staff, as I said. All the local people in the local Scottish town where I stayed had first opportunity. I'd put ads on the radio, I'd, I'd go to the job centre. And do you know something? Nobody would turn up for work. 
people would phone in sick, the absence, I was getting phone calls at four o'clock in the morning, or were, you know, 10 people short. And do you want to know the reality of that was they were all Scottish people, because they couldn't get out of their bed. Now, as I say, I'm Scottish, love Scotland, no issues at all. But the fact of the matter is, we are quite lazy. You know, you have people coming from other countries. I'm not saying everybody's lazy. I'm not lazy. Many of my friends are not lazy. I'm not saying that we're all lazy, but there is a proportion of us that would rather lie in our bed and join the Jeremy Kyle Club than come to work. When I'm trying to supply 400 people, and I can't even fulfill half of that with our own people from our local area and then I have to outsource and look elsewhere. And then you have people complaining, ah, oh, there's people coming to steal our jobs. It's fucking bullshit, man. You, you, get out of your bed, you know, come to work. And then people won't be taking your jobs. They're not your jobs, they're jobs for anyone. So for me, this, this is a lot of bollocks, you know. It's, I hate it when people say they're stealing my job. Fucking grow up, you know. That, that really pisses me off when people say that. You know, just fucking get out of your bed and go to work. You know, find a job. There's hundreds of jobs. You know, it's great that we're going to make these new jobs, but when we become independent, if that was to happen, for say, because you'll you'll have your Jeremy Kyle people sitting there, oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, well, thank you, benefits. Thank you, Job Seekers Allowance. You know, is that going to continue? Do you know? Do you know it's going to continue? Hmm. You, you got to think about that one. You're gonna have to go to work then. You know, it's the whole thing. You know, it it it's just not good. So then, say for example, we're independent, millions of new jobs. Who's gonna do these jobs when people can't get out of their bed? So we're gonna have to bring people over. Still gonna have to do the jobs. It's not gonna be Scottish people. So yeah, you, you know, for me, it hasn't been thought through very well. Yes. On paper, it's a great idea. And yes, it would be nice for it to happen. You know, I'm all for it in a roundabout way, but the reality is we cannot survive by doing that. So, you have to think about it. You, you really have to think about it. People might think I'm talking a lot of bullshit. To be honest, I don't really give a fuck. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. You know, I'm feeling quite strong in this one because it frustrates me because I've been involved in it. I've been involved in our own people, our own local people, just not giving a shit, can't be asked. They'll be sitting there thinking this looks like the best thing. Oh, freedom, independence. I watched William Wallace last night on the TV. Well, the thing is, it, it, it's all nonsense. You know, you, you've just got to get a grip and get real. You know, it would be great if we could do it properly. Um, but the reality is we can't. And the reality is that we haven't been because we can't. You know, it, we just have to face facts. I mean, I'm, as I said, I'm not into politics at all, but, you know, I've been looking a lot about this. I'm, I'm seeing the posts on Facebook. Um, people are talking about it. So I, I just thought I'd share my opinion instead of doing something about training, weight loss, diet, performance, helping people out. I'm helping pe people out by doing this. I'm expressing my opinion probably a bit of a brave thing to do really um, publicly but I don't really care everyone's entitled to their opinion people want to criticise that's absolutely fine everyone's entitled to criticise doesn't make them a bad person okay everyone's entitled to their opinion all right that's my take on Scotland being independent please post your comments and criticisms I look forward to hearing your views and um, thank you very much for for watching